Alright everybody, welcome back today guys to the channel. Uh, literally, we're actually going to go ahead and look at the channel for today because today marks the 10 year anniversary of starting the channel. Uh, May the 4th be with you, of course, right? And that is obviously why the channel did so well. Uh, we are now upwards to 650 million views, which is a unattainable number when I really thought about the bigger picture starting out. I mean, I really didn't think this was going to kick off. I mean, starting off with a smaller YouTuber, uh, you know, playing Call of Duty and then transitioning from Machinima Sports and then moving in to UFC and, you know, Forza and just... It was a crazy journey. Huge thank you to everybody that has been around. If you've been around, you know, since day one, since maybe a month ago with GT7's launch, right? It doesn't matter. What matters is you're here now, right? I definitely do appreciate everybody's time over the last decade. And it is crazy to think about how long it actually truly has been. And I took um, a good chunk of my time the other night just going through old videos and clipping clips and I thought I was going to have enough time to get it done for May the 4th and I wanted to have the full montage done and ready to go for you guys but it just it was too much time it actually took me too much time to go through all the clips clip them and I just ran out of time throughout the day and night so uh, what I ended up doing today was rolling through all of my old videos this is 10 years worth of footage and uh, it took me 17 minutes to go through from top to bottom from everything um, you know it's crazy to think about how many videos that I've done and edited myself uh, there has been no background editor over these last 10 years if you guys have ever been wondering it's all been me man there's nothing else that controls this channel other than myself out here so it's been um, a pretty crazy journey you know starting off you know working going to school and then just slowly becoming you know a full-time job basically and it was crazy to think about this being you know essentially a job because I really enjoyed every single day that I was able to get up and make content for you guys so I really do appreciate everybody's support and making um, you know this channel to what it is today of course it's not as big as what it was back you know three four years ago with the launch of Forza Horizon 2 because we had a lot of videos go viral back then and then the kind of the snowball effect just kept kicking in so right it was it was a pretty crazy thing to just watch and see everybody just you know gather the subscribers just keep piling up I mean it's still crazy to think about hitting over 2 million subscribers there's not a lot of people in the you know the automotive community as well too that even have 2 mil subscribers so you know it's it, it's very weird that I ended up piling in that many subs in that short amount of time uh, you know when you know we were really at the peak of it so we'll see if we get another big boost for the next Forza Motorsport we got some big games coming out this year so I'm definitely excited for the content to come so if you have not already well today would be a good day right 10 years uh, that I started up the channel now of course uh, I didn't post my first episode on May the 4th I made the channel on May the 4th so basically the plans were in motion for me and I posted the first video officially on the channel on May the 8th now I've actually privated that video just because it's right the first video on the channel man it's so embarrassing Right, I'm not a huge fan of it. The microphone audios were terrible on there. The gameplay was terrible, man. I look back at some of the older content. I'm like, what the heck was going on back then, man? Nobody cared about audio, seemed like. Um, but, you know, it was it was a great time to be, you know, in the YouTube space. And, you know, I definitely cherish every single moment or every video that I made on this channel because it was fun. We genuinely had fun when we played these games. And that was the biggest thing. I mean, even when we went online with people, uh, that's when it got even crazier. You know, Forza was a huge game for me growing up. And, you know, moving in to online and YouTube and being able to share that footage with you guys and share that fun and that excitement that we would have on a daily basis on these games was was, you know definitely something that I really enjoyed and that was why I started YouTube was just I enjoyed sharing my clips to other people right and that was how that all started because I did YouTube for a long time before I even made this channel because I was doing it on a second channel uh, that was just strictly Call of Duty and it didn't really go anywhere as you know most of the Call of Duty channels did um, but you know it definitely taught me a lot about just kind of uploading and editing my own stuff so I felt like I was ready to take that step to remake the the channel and you know dump all the inactive subscribers if you will and you know obviously looking back at it that was probably the best move that I did to continue uh, you know my YouTube journey if you will I had to kind of drop off the old baggage to get to the new baggage and of course this wouldn't have happened without the machinima sports deal that I was with so I was actually posting 
on Machinima for, I think it was once a week I would post. And I use that as a platform to say, hey, you know, I've made a new channel, come and check it out. Um, you know, we're looking for active subscribers, stuff like that. And it, it, right, it felt like it worked, I guess. And it really was just a small snowball climb uh, to what it is 10 years later and, you know, 600 500 million views on the channel it's absolutely insane and i still remember those first few videos that really did explode and some of them looking back at them i'm like oh no right really these are the clips that they decided youtube would uh make go viral i mean sometimes you know i don't get engine codes right and stuff like that it just gets blown up in the comments but i've definitely had fun over the years and that's the main thing i keep coming back to is fun right i wouldn't be playing these games i wouldn't be doing this a lot of the times they say you know don't turn your hobby into a career um, I think I've actually ended up doing that some some kind of miracle ended up happening I've always said as a kid I wanted to work in the video game industry I wanted to be a game developer that was my thing as a kid right so I feel like somehow some way I sneaked into the gaming industry with zero coding knowledge and I didn't think that was gonna ever happen right I always thought that I need to learn code and do all that when I was young but uh, you know I'm definitely very thankful to where everything ended up landing but you know after 10 years people are always say to you right I mean do you enjoy editing right I mean after 10 years no right of course I don't enjoy editing anymore man it definitely um, you know I've always thought about getting an editor but I don't right I've said this many times many past videos as well too it's just it's not something that I want to do I feel like it's just it's wasted money especially right now the channel isn't where it was you know five years ago to be able to just you know kind of hand out an editing position um, but I mean at the end of the day though I think the best move that I ever made doing YouTube was the computer that I chose at the very beginning right I went with a Mac that was the biggest thing I went with an iMac um, I got it on the future shop credit card kind of thing it was 24 months no interest no payments you split it up 24 months you make your payments the Mac is yours at the end of those two years it's the best deal that they had and maybe that's kind of why they went out of business right it wasn't uh, the most profitable situation I felt like but uh, they definitely took care of their customers when they were around and uh, you know that was how I got to do all of my editing and I think so fast because of the final cut that was you know the best program that I was using it wasn't complicated in any way it was drag and drop formats it always worked with the Elgato software as well too so I think a lot of those things played into the role of just you know that snowball continuing to roll and obviously I haven't stopped posting since I started posting it has been a consecutive waterfall since day one I have never missed a day within those you know 24 hours or so since that first video went out maybe you know a couple you know hours after that but I've posted every single day if you've subscribed since day one there's been a video out every single day before that 12 o'clock hits kind of thing right so I've definitely been consistent and I think that has been the biggest reason why the channel did so well the YouTube algorithm just picking it up and saying right this man is working let's go ahead and uh, right throw some videos on the recommendation so maybe that's where you've seen the channel when you know you first came to it I'd love to know down below how you stumbled across the channel uh, when you did first find it and I mean going through all those videos all the memories all the people that we've met and played with um, you know it is it has been crazy to just reminisce these last few days going through all the old clips um, all the old thumbnails titles videos games that I've played people that I've met and uh, you know even the montages that I've made there has been so many good montages and it's kind of got me back into almost the hype of doing Forza content again with the montages and stuff like that right not specifically Horizon but Motorsport right I mean that was a huge game for me growing up and I'm really excited for the next Forza Motorsport to drop down I mean that is probably the biggest game that a lot of people that have Xbox are waiting for and of course speaking of games I can't go through every single game that I played on the channel it just I don't have enough time to write everything down I feel like but we did play a lot of games over these last 10 years um, I think some of the ones that really stand out to me were the ones that we did during the let's play season Seasons where I would just bang out game after game of full let's plays right I mean we did Mad Max back in the day we did Need for Speed Undercover Most Wanted Underground 2 of course the legendary Midnight Club LA where a lot of people found the channel I think that one episode I think hit about a million views or something crazy like that I mean, it's actually uh, you know wild to look back and see you know the view counts on some of these older videos because they have picked up over these last you know five years or so and it's been uh, just a wild experience to just 
look back at them all and see you know what I was doing at the time my setup how janky it might have been my camera work I mean a lot of the time I'm looking at these older videos and I'm like why didn't I make the wheel cam smaller it was so big back in the day on those first few years um, but I mean that was the whole learning process there was nobody else really doing what I was doing in that space back in the day with the wheel cam there was a couple people but you know recording your voice your gameplay live with the game right it was it was a really fun time to be on YouTube because there wasn't a lot of people you know doing what I was doing in that space right so we definitely had a lot of freedom and I think that was another reason why the channel did pick up um, a little bit over those first few years kind of thing but I mean not just games but I mean we had so many trips that I ended up getting to go to I mean trips like the crew 2 event where we actually ended up winning that event that was that was really special to me I had a lot of fun there uh, we had the Seattle trip where I was in the ride along with Ryan Turk and we met four we went down there at the headquarters and it was it was crazy man we had the whole ride along on the track um, you know trips like when we went to Germany over there with the SN Motor Show that was that was insane we had the Spain trip where we went to Circuit de Catalunya with the dirt guys and you know it was it was a crazy experience to say that I ended up getting to travel uh, the world basically all from you know making YouTube videos in my room 10 years ago with a basic laptop uh, running Windows Movie Maker and I mean all the way back from the Dazzle days we had the Dazzles hooked up with the RCA cables the splitters going in to the source to get your cable set up and then you know down $30 worth of cable and wondering why it didn't come in the box kind of thing now we just have HDMI cables and you know people have it so easy nowadays when they want to record and stream and stuff like that too as long as you have the proper computers nowadays too right I mean everything's just kind of you know increased tenfold since you know I started back in the day but I have really been in enjoying the time that I've been here. Huge thank you for everybody that has been allowing me to produce content on this channel and to push me uh, every single day with your comments, your likes. I see those every day, man. I read every single comment and it's never changed. I mean, I did that since day one. I was working at the source back when I was doing this, I think about eight years ago now, and I would be on the computers when it was dead in the store and just answering comments, right? It was just, it was a crazy thing. I mean, YouTube has definitely changed nowadays where you gotta watch out for the spam bots, you gotta be on top of that stuff and reporting them, um, but I definitely, had a great time interacting with everybody whether it was you know just a smiley face or whatever but I see everything though I really do appreciate everybody's support um, that you guys have been leaving on every single video that I end up do posting whether it just be you know a hey or whatever I see those man I definitely do appreciate it right now I said before it took me about 17 minutes from start to finish on these videos to go through them all scroll down so you guys can just see the thumbnails of these 5500 videos basically so I'm going through and I'm picking out manually uh, the videos that I want in this montage and just clip it kind of thing um, so it is taking a little bit more time than I thought it was going to I'm gonna plan to release this on May the 8th so the official first videos launch 10 years ago will be on the 8th so if you guys do want to see that slap that like button down below uh, and the biggest thing that I want to know from you guys is do you want to see uh, kind of you know 12 to 15 minute parts in it or do you want to see one full massive montage because I can kind of chop it down a little bit or I can do maybe like an hour montage of just the best clips over the last 10 years or I can put them out maybe you know one every hour on that day uh, you know 12 minutes long 15 minutes long I don't know let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see on there um, but you know I definitely missed a lot of things that I wanted to talk about that is a hundred percent certain a lot of the series that I did you know top 10 drifts was a huge thing on the channel I keep seeing that as it's scrolling through um, just huge thank you to everybody that submitted clips obviously we haven't been doing top 10 for the last couple months if I do it I put out one and then it goes away kind of thing um, you know it definitely isn't like it used to um, you know we've seen a lot of these clips before so to me right now it's not a huge thing maybe I'll come back and revisit it at a later time but even when I do put out top 10 it doesn't hit the way that it used to back you know a couple years ago when it was really on fire man top 10 was on fire at one point and the biggest thing I, I think is the variety of the games that we used to play too I mean there wasn't just Gran Turismo nowadays I'm just playing GT7 every single day feels like but you know back in the day we were playing so many different games we were posting so much there was a point in time where I posted four videos a day when I was doing my let's plays I don't even understand how I did it I really don't know I was you know night to day working 
YouTube, stuff like that, and then, right, I don't, I don't understand how I did it, but there was a point in time where I was posting four times a day to keep up with Let's Plays, and, uh, I mean, just like I said, when you're actually having fun doing it, it's not a big deal, right, I was just, I was like, cool, right, let's just keep posting, let's have fun, and, uh, of course, T. Martin has squashed all of these videos, because this man is an animal, he's posted way longer, way more videos, um, and the guy is just, he's an animal, man, definitely my hat is off to T. Martin, I'm sure he's been in the space way longer than I have, we got our own little lane, we have our own little parking spot over here, I appreciate it, I didn't really think I was going to make it to the end of this video, to be completely honest with you, just kind of talking and rambling, um, I've almost done it, I actually almost have done it, I wanted to make sure I got through the whole list on the channel, I wanted to go top to bottom, don't miss any of them, and show every single video off, this is what 10 years of being on YouTube looks like, basically, this is it right here, man, I mean, depending on how much you're posting, how many you're posting, but I think the biggest thing that I have uh, stood tall on is just not missing a day, and obviously, I don't ever want to miss a day, there's been times where I'm like, should I pull back and maybe do, you know, every other day, will views drop, will subscribers drop, and that's all been going through my head over these last few years as well, too, so there's definitely, um, you know, it's a game out here, right, it's just, you gotta, you gotta play the game and see, see what, you know, works for you, in a sense, you can't really do what other people are doing. You have to work with what you have and what is working for you. So if you want to try to get into that space, just do what you enjoy and people will come, right? People will follow the genuine happiness or enjoyment that you get from doing whatever it is that you're posting. And I think it will show in your content as well too. So if you guys are just, you know, trying to start out, you're wondering, what should I do to start out? Um, I would say the biggest thing, just start posting. Just put out anything. Get used to uploading editing photoshop for your thumbnails or whatever it is that you're going to do but um yeah i mean if you are interested in making content it's never too late you just have to start making it for the right reasons is the biggest thing and that's exactly why i started that is why i'm still here today making the content because i enjoy making the videos on the youtubes fast forward right 10 years later have a house have a wife have almost a three-year-old little girl right now and uh you know it's crazy it's been really just a ride huge thank you um for you know just everything like i said you know i cannot be more thankful this whole youtube journey definitely you know changed my trajectory of my life and what i was planning on doing and obviously um this is this is where i want to stay if you will right so a huge thank you to everybody that has been a part of this um montage coming out may the 8th subscribe with post notifications if you have not already leave me a dad joke or two in the comments Comment section let me know how long you've been a part of the channel for and uh, let me know your favorite video that you've ever seen on here too right I'd like to know down below if you had one video pick it let me know huge thank you and uh, we're gonna roll all the way back here to 10 years ago man absolutely wild huge thank you once again I, I can't say it enough right I mean 10 years man it's a long time a lot of thank yous um geez man crazy I'll see you guys back here tomorrow I'm out peace